Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a how to clean your house for a house inspection. I started off with writing a list of all the things I had to get to. Now, this is going to be a two part series just because it did take me two whole days to clean the house and that's why in some of the clips I'm wearing different outfits. So I started off with vacuuming the lounge room and the couch and I just put on this attachment which gets up all the dog fur, it's amazing. Amazing. It just came with my vacuum which is also a pet vacuum. I just took off all the cushions and finally vacuumed all the fur off the lounge. So I went around the house and used this magic eraser. This is my first time trying it out. It's not sponsored guys, don't worry. <laughs> um, and it worked really well. It got up all the scuff marks and um, all the dirt on the skirting boards and I think that they use bicarb soda in it because it did leave a little bit of a residue which I had to go over with a normal cloth but it was convenient however I did run out really fast it only did the living room and the start of the hallway so that is a little bit crappy <laughs> yeah so I then carpet cleaned the lounge room rug I went through and mopped the lounge room. I also wanted to do the windows, so I did the outside. I didn't do a very good job just because I'm a bit sure our house like lowers down outside, but the inside was pretty good. And I also did the sliding door. Now I had a sensory toy on it, so it had paint and glitter, which Theodore feels. And the con about it is he got all of his handprints on the door so I had to thoroughly go through that and on the outside the dogs always put their paw prints on. So a little life hack is instead of sweeping your porch vacuum it. It's so much faster and it gets up all of the dust and yeah it's just it makes your life so much easier. I then went through and carpet cleaned our spare bedroom. I also did our main bedroom, Theodore's room and Cat's room and there was one spot that I noticed on the spare bedroom floor which was wax so I had to get that up and what I did was placed a 100% cotton towel down and put the iron on the hottest setting and went over it a few times until the wax came up as you can see in the clip like it's slowly coming up I also used um, a toothbrush just to like make the carpet not so flat then I went around the whole room and cleaned all the walls and the skirting boards. So the next room I went on to was our ensuite and I just thoroughly went through all the surface areas like the mirror which always gets toothpaste on it because of Isaac and our basin. I used bicarb soda on the drain just because it was a little bit moldy and it's really good just to whiten it up. I then went through and wiped down the shower and squeegeed it because the dogs always put their paw prints on it. I then cleaned up the dog shower as well and finished off with cleaning the toilet. So I just used the Earth Choice toilet cleaner which I normally use. I then emptied the bin and put a new bin bag in. Oh and I also went through and cleaned the walls and the skirting boards in this room as well. master bedroom we have a big glass sliding door which always gets dusty so I had to do the inside and the outside and the sun always shines and it makes me look like I do a bad job <laughs> it always like destroys my self-esteem so I then went on to clean all the fingerprints on the cupboards because we do have gloss cupboards in the kitchen which do show a lot of marks. I also cleaned the walls in the kitchen and the skirting boards just because it was time for them to get done thoroughly. I also went 
through and did. All the appliances in the kitchen as well. So that's part one of how to clean your house for a house inspection. This was going to be a lengthy video so I decided to make it into two parts. If you want to see the second part don't forget to leave a comment and a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys! Thank you.